girls. So today I'm going to be showing y'all a tutorial on Taylor Swift's 2011 CMA's makeup and hair. Now the makeup is obviously very subtle and simple like Taylor always is super classy, super classy. And this hair is just gorgeous. I kind of turned it down a few notches because it was super difficult. Like, sorry, it's gorgeous and fun. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Have fun! Hello, my dolls. So, to start off this tutorial, Taylor's look was, like, really super dramatic. It was pretty light, which is great because then it's super wearable for us. What I'm starting off using is my Love & Beauty palette, and it's just got a whole bunch of really nice matte colors. For Taylor's look, she didn't really have too many dark colors, so the first color I'm using is this one right there, it's kind of like a mocha-y color. And I'm just going to apply that right along my upper crease. Now obviously right now it looks pretty dumb, but trust me it'll get better. I'm using this nude right here. It's really pretty and she had sort of a caramel looking color, so I'm going to mix this and this and a little bit of this. I'm going to use this one just to get that nice caramel color that she had. So I'm just going to put that kind of in the middle. She had a really kind of not prominent, but a little bit prominent, like, wing on the both sides of her eyes. So I'm going to do that, too. Like so. So I'm using my Maybelline New York, and the color I'm using is the base. And I'm putting that on the inner corners of my eyes, because it'll make you look, like, it'll make it look really bright and weak. And I'm also going to use this for a highlight because it's kind of a perfect highlight. We're almost done with the eyes. I'm just going to use this kind of pumpkinish color here because it's really, it's really pretty and it's not too like bright or sparkly or anything. The last thing I'm using for the eyes is my Stila Sparkle Waterproof Eyeliner. It's so pretty. It looks like a night sky because her eyes kind of, I don't know, they just looked really pretty and kind of like starry like she was obviously wearing fake lashes because they were like humongo like spider lashes so I don't have any of those and they're kind of uncomfortable so I'm just using this like magical double extend mascara by Maybelline oh my god you guys it's like my best friend and there's two sides to it there's one side that is white and one side that's black. <laughs> that sounds kind of racist. It's all for the eyes. Now for the complexion. I'm using my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Now Taylor's skin is like super light so you don't want to use something really heavy and foundation-y and thick that will make your skin look like ugh, just no. What I do is I just make a little glob and then I get a little dot on my finger like that and I go do 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 and then I do the same thing on the other side, doop, doop, doop. And then I'll rub it with my hands. But again, at the bottom, my forehead. Now I don't have a stippling brush because they're like 40 bucks, which is freaking ridiculous. But I think I'm going to get one for Christmas. So I'm excited. But right now I'm just using an old brush that I don't give a crap about. I'm just blending it out a little bit just so it gets spread out really nicely. And obviously it's not going to work as well as a stippling brush. So, I'll just do this a little bit, and then I'll rub it in with my hands. I want to use like a pressed kind of powder thing like this, because you don't want your skin to be all shiny. This is in the 03, because my skin is not very dark, obviously. It's just kind of beige. And you can make all the shiny spots go away with this. It's kind of like magic. I use it every day. Now it's time for blush. I'm just using the Dream Mousse Blush in... O2 because I lied 20 in peach satin because her cheeks were kind of peachy and they looked really light but you could still tell they were there all you have to do is just dip your finger in and kind of swirl it around finish off the makeup look you just have to go for lips and I'm using this beautiful Estee Lauder in the color tiger eye it's kind of like spicy like Christmas like Thanksgiving and guess what Ooh. This smells like heaven on earth. It's twisted peppermint. Oh my god. I burn it almost every night. Like for this, this week. Like straight. Oh my god. Really pretty kind of goldy 
orangey, bronzy, like reddish color. And don't put too much on. Just a very little bit. After you do that, just apply some lip gloss. And mine is Beauty Rush, and the color is Hottie Cider. And oh my god, you guys, it smells amazing. It's perfect for this time of year. You can get it at Victoria's Secret. So this is the finished makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to move on to the hair. Okay, so to start off this hair tutorial, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take about an inch or less and pull it over here so it's kind of a middle part. After that, I take this part and I'm using my, just my boring Conair curler, but I still love you. That out, you're going to pull the middle part down and clip it back. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this, put all my hair back like that, put all that hair back like that, and pin this around. Then later we can take pieces down and curl them. Now in the back what she did was kind of extremely fancy. So I'm going to take it down a notch and what I'm going to do take two pieces from the outside wrap them around like so and then make a little knot. Make a little bit over. Now after you've done that, you can take pieces from this side down. After you've curled the two main pieces in the front, and I'm not going to pin them back, but this side I'm just going to pull a few pieces down, and you can always curl those if you want. Spray, don't forget to spray. The last step to this hair tutorial is take curling iron, grab a small, done that, make it pin it back, make it look a little more elegant. And now you're done, you've done the whole Taylor Swift CMA's 2011 tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching, you know how much I love you. Goodbye, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Won't open.